You've probably heard about Flowwise and what it can do, but I think that you haven't heard about this one, which is called DeFi, which essentially means do it for you. It's a tool that helps you create powerful language model applications. It's an all-in-one solution for seamlessly building and managing AI native apps based on ranges of large language models. Now, three months ago, you could only use chat GPT models for creating language-based apps, but now you can also use open source models as well as other closed source models like Llama or Anthropic, let's say. Here's a list of what else you can use. And this opens up more options for creating AI apps, prompt engineering, and other possibilities. You also have access to more features and plugins, including support for Huggins Face, embedded models, data set services, and prompt engineering integrations. Now, they also added this functionality where you are able to utilize many different ranges of large language models to create these large language model applications. And this brings in so much more flexibility and customization to what you're trying to create. And this will be really useful for a lot of people who are focusing on open source projects as this is a great gateway for you to create them as it's an easy and efficient way to do so. This AI tool is designed to help create and run AI-based apps using various large language models and not just GPT models. You can now use open source models to build free applications. Yeah, they're free to use. It's similar to what Flowwise could do, but this platform, it's just easier to use. It's more user-friendly and more beginner-friendly as well. It allows teams to visually develop and manage AI applications. And with this tool, you can create AI-powered apps in minutes, whether for internal use or external release, and you can deploy these in just five minutes. The tool includes some of the features like storyteller bots to answer specific questions, SQL generator to turn natural language into SQL queries, a code converter to change one programming language into another, and then text generator to summarize important information. And as I've told you, it works with all of these. It's a, such a wide choice. I, I just love it. Now, I'm not affiliating for these guys or I'm selling you a course or something like that. I just use this one and it did the work for me pretty easily. So today I'll show you how you can get it and what else can you find on the platform. What is good about this is that this tool can quickly create ready-made websites that support both form and chat conversation modes, all with a single API. It also includes plugin capabilities, context, and enhancements, reducing the need for a lot of backend coding. This gives you more time to focus on visual data, and it also saves time by making log reviews, annotations, and other tasks easier. In simple terms, it boosts your productivity by simplifying the process of creating AI applications. That's why these new features and plugins in the latest update are so exciting. Okay, so how to get this one? Simply head over to their website. You can just Google for it. It is over at defy.ai, but do have this in mind. It's D-I-F-Y, all right? And when you land on the page, you can just click on Get Started here. You can log in with your GitHub account or Google. And when you're on the inside, this is gonna be your dashboard. So from here, as you can see, you've got a few of these options. You've got all the applications, you've got chatbots, you've got agents and workflows. Let's just click on all and let's just click on create from blank. This is a feature that allows you to create some of these apps from blank, but you can also create these from templates. And this is gonna be useful for a lot of people there. You can see that there's a lot of these templates and a lot of categories to choose from, right? But let's just start with a blank one. I'll just click on create from blank and then you can choose what do you wanna make. First of all, I'll just choose something really simple. Let's just use text generator model and then I'll just give it a name. Let's just make something which is related to some traveling. So I just named this like travel assistant. Let's just do it like that. If only I could spell it better, right? So travel assistant description, I don't need that now. Click on create and that's gonna lead me here. First of all, as you can see here, you can choose a model. This is now GPT-4.0, but you can just choose this one and select 3.5. If you're used to it, 
Otherwise, just keep it like it is and then just make the prompt inside of this box. This is a prefix prompt. What I love about this one is that you also have this, which will generate the prompt text language prompt for you by clicking just here on generate. So you can write clear and specific instructions in normal language and it'll put you one thing. For example, let's just let's just use this one travel planning because I see that this is relevant to our topic today. So travel planning, click on it. So the travel planning assistant is an intelligent tool designed to help users effortlessly plan their trips. So this is essentially what you would write, right? For example, you need an app that's going to track your fitness records, whatever. So you just explain this one and then click on generate button here. And then it's going to translate that for the DeFi app. So this is what you get here on the right hand side, right? So if I click on apply, you just have to confirm this and then it's going to do all the work, right? And now you're now able to deploy this fairly easily after you save it, right? You're able to debug it as well here, which is also really useful. But in this case, you're able to preview this off of this tab, click on publish here, and then just you can run the app. It's just going to open the new tab with the app in it. And then you can just run it once or you can run the batch with your own files, right? Now, I haven't done any of this. It did it on its own and it was able to create all this from a single prompt, which is absolutely amazing, right? Let's just do it like this. So I want to travel to Paris. I don't know if this is too small for you to see. I'll just increase the size like this. So I'll just click on execute here. And then as you can see, it gives you the full rundown, right? Key attractions, cultural experiences, transportation, accommodations, best times to visit. And then of course, you can ask follow up questions here in the debug. You can just specify this one to add destination names, travel start and end dates, travel budget, activities, you know, there's a lot of things that you can play with. But I just wanted to show you how easy this is actually. Okay, so how to get this one on your own computer. There's two ways to get this one. And the first one is to use it via their cloud, which they're just offering for free on the website, right? As well as installing it using the Docker. Now, if you head over to the main website and then you just click on docs here, just click on docs, you will be led to a special tutorial which you can just read through. And this is all the information that you essentially need. You don't even have to continue watching this video anymore, but I'll still run through it. And one more thing, you can just click on GitHub in order to read and learn how to use Docker, right? So if I just scroll down there, as you can see, it gives you like the full rundown of these features, what it can do, and then you can see how you can use it right here. So we host a DeFi cloud service for anyone to try with zero setup that is on the website. And as you can see, it includes 200 free GPT-4 calls in the sandbox plan. And then you've got this one, which is self-hosting DeFi community edition. You can just click on this starter guide and it'll tell you what do you have to do. This is something that you can do with Docker with Docker Compose. So there's a couple commands in which you can do so. So you can just set this up with Docker and then compose it with the command over here. But what I do recommend is that before you even start is that you actually check out the requirements because you need to have a CPU that is greater than or equal to two cores and you need to have more than four gigabytes of RAM to have this functional. Now, these are just the minimum system requirements, so keep that in mind. It'll be more functional and more like appropriate to use with better specs, but I believe you have that. So just definitely keep that in mind. But the best case is that in order to start with this one, just use it with the cloud service as this is something that you can access right away off their website, right? What you got to do is to just click on get started, create yourself an account, log in with your Google or GitHub account, and you can start right away. Now, Let's go over some of these features, right? You can use different large language models like LLM chain, 
hugging face replicate to work with like open source models. This gives you access to a wide range of options for creating applications using large language models. And for registered DeFi cloud users, there are some free resources available. As I've told you, firstly, there's 200 free open AI queries to help you build open AI based apps. Then you've got text embeddings for enhancing your applications. And you've got API based services that allow you to directly access web apps and integrate APIs without needing complex backend services. It just cuts down your time. Now, once you have created an account, you'll be then sent to the dashboard. This is where I showed you the example for that travel assistant. But if you just head over to these templates, and you just take a look at this, there's a lot of templates. You've got code interpreters, you have like job advertisements, personalized dialogues, you can have chatbots created and so much more. And you can see there's a lot of different like ranges, there's even HR here, programming, entertainment, there's like assistance, there's writing things and yeah, so much more on this one. But yeah, as well, you're able to start this one from scratch. Now the pricing plan, you can see that the lowest one is 59 a month. But as I've told you, you can use Sandbox in order to see whether this one is for you or not. And if you want to customize this further, you can just visit the documentation tab, which I've already shown you. And there you'll find tutorials that will guide you through the advanced features of DeFi and just help you learn more about what you can do with the platform. I hope you found good use for it. And I hope this was informative at least. So yeah, wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.